This is question number one. We're told the diagram shows a sector OAB of a circle with centre O and radius R centimetres. We're told the angle AOB is 1.25 radians and we're told the perimeter of a sector is 39 centimetres. In part A for three marks, we're asked to show that R is equal to 12. If we look at the perimeter, we're going to have R plus R plus the arc length AB. In general, we can say the arc length, and I'm going to define this to be L, is R multiplied by theta. R is a radius, theta is the angle measured in radians. So we can say that 39, which is the perimeter, will be equal to 2R plus R multiplied by theta. So we're going to have R multiplied by the 1.25. So we've got 2r plus 1.25r, and that gives us that 39 will be equal to 3.25r. I'm going to divide both sides of the equation by 3.25. 39 divided by 3.25 gives us r, and that gives us now that r is equal to 12 as required. In part b for two marks, we need to calculate the area of the sector OAB. The area, in general, is given as one-half r squared theta. Again, r is the radius, theta is the angle measured in radians. So we can say that this is going to be one-half multiplied now by the radius squared. 12 squared is 144, and we're going to multiply that by 1.25. So we're going to have 72 times by 1.25, so we can say that the area is going to be 90 centimetres squared. You can, of course, use a calculator if you wish. If you calculate it mentally, either way round, it's 90 centimetres squared. Two marks in total for part B.